The elevator door opened and I stepped out. The lights were out for some reason. My apartment unit was somewhere further down, near the end. It was a walk I had taken so often, every single day, without even thinking. But never in the dark. I began walking, eyes turning involuntarily to each passing doorway. Then, I heard it. Scraping, dragging, a noise that I convinced myself oh so hard was due to the old air conditioning unit starting up. Until I saw it, emerging from the doorway. Hollow eyes, a flayed mask for a face, ruined fingerless hands reaching forward, and oh so much blood. I had stumbled back a step or two, nearly falling over, before the reptile brain kicked in and I sprinted for the elevator. Behind, I heard croaking and scraping, dragging itself after me. I didn't look back. I punched the elevator button over and over and over. Then, mercifully, the doors opened, flashing a ray of light into the hallway. I dashed in, hitting the wall, nearly weeping with relief. And then I realised I hadn't closed the door. It was still crawling on inch by inch towards me. I smashed my fist on the closed door button and prayed. The last thing I saw before the doors closed were its eyes. Bloodshot, lidless, staring straight at me. It's been a month now. I believe in ghosts. I believe that there are monsters who haunt this world. I believe that what I saw wasn't human and I must, must ignore the newspaper reports that said she had crawled on her stumps, bleeding gallons, dying only inches away from the elevator door.